Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's vlog we are taking you to Malaga, Spain, a city we didn't have high expectations for, but it quickly became one of our favorite cities in Europe. We will show you the top 10 places and attractions you must see in Malaga and take you on a food tour trying delicious creations at the best restaurants. We will also visit rooftop bars with breathtaking views. Let's get started and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the episode about other must-see towns in Andalusia. During our 10-day road trip through Andalusia and Costa del Sol, we decided to spend the last three days in Malaga. Having explored many beautiful spots in Spain, including cities like Madrid, Barcelona and Sevilla, Malaga was a city we hadn't visited before. It seemed rather ordinary and we thought we would see it along the way while exploring Andalusia. We couldn't have been more wrong. Malaga is definitely not a city to be seen as an afterthought. It's an ideal destination for a weekend getaway, offering a bustling old town, historic sites, viewpoints, beaches, numerous fantastic restaurants and rooftops with amazing views. Our first evening in Malaga started with a dinner at Sirocco Plaza. Having experienced various places in Spain, we can confidently say that Malaga's culinary scene could compete even with Barcelona. Malaga offers delicious food at surprisingly affordable prices. While you should try classic tapas like croquetas de jamón, patatas bravas, padron peppers or garlic shrimp, many restaurants also serve their own signature dishes and modern variations of tapas, just like the one we visited. The food was truly exceptional. But our adventure didn't end there because Malaga is a lively city. Rooftop bars are very popular, especially in the evening, making it worth going for a drink and enjoying the sunset. We chose the rooftop bar at the Hotel Malaga Palacio by Marriott, located on the 15th floor, offering the best views. The entrance fee is 9 euros, which you can then use for orders at the bar. It's enough for one cocktail, as most cocktails cost around that price. The next day started with a must-do activity, a stroll through the narrow streets of Old Town in Malaga. Colorful houses, quaint cafes, orange trees and elegant squares with purple flowers, these charmed our hearts. While exploring you'll undoubtedly come across the beautiful historic cathedral, Santa Iglesia Catedral Basilica de la Encarnación, which you can visit for 8 euros or you can pay 12 euros to additionally access its roof. In this area, don't miss Calle Larios, the famous shopping street in the center of Malaga. We also visited Mercado Central, one of the oldest markets in Malaga, housed in a beautiful historic building with colorful stained glass windows. Locals shop here for fresh fish, meat, fragrant fruits and vegetables, as well as delicious Spanish ham and cheese. Even if you are not planning to buy anything, it is worth visiting this iconic place. The market is open from Monday to Saturday from early morning until 2 pm. We had our lunch at a charming Italian restaurant named La Risto Bottega in the Old Town. Having spent over a week in Andalusia, we were ready for a break from fried croquettes and patatas bravas, making Italian cuisine a pleasant change. While exploring Malaga, make sure to stroll along Muelle Uno, the promenade along the port. Besides boutiques and shops, we stumbled upon an interesting market with handmade products, accessories and jewelry. 
art lovers will also find this area interesting with a colorful ruby cube-like building hosting a branch of the famous Parisian Contemporary Art Museum, Centre Pompidou. Continuing our stroll, we reach the popular Malaga beach, Playa La Malagueta, stretching over a kilometer. It might not be the most beautiful beach with its dark sandy shores, but it's there, allowing you to dip into the blue sea on hot days or visit a chiringuito. Chiringuitos are small beach bars serving fresh fish and seafood, cooked on open fire. We chose Chiringuito El Cachalot and it undoubtedly served the best fish we had during our entire stay in Andalusia. However, somehow we thought that it would be cool, local and budget-friendly experience. Ordering sardines might be inexpensive, a portion costs only 5 euros, but not everyone enjoys digging into sardines. Yet, if you order fish like dorada or sea bass, it adds up to around 30 euro per person. In the end, we paid 60 euros for a meal for two, making it one of our most expensive meals here. By the way, if you haven't booked accommodation in Malaga yet, we can recommend our place, a beautifully decorated apartment in the old town. We were very satisfied with it. The location was perfect, the owner was super responsive, it was clean and the kitchen was well equipped. As always, the link will be in the video description. Starting another day with a delicious breakfast at Desal Cafe, we embarked on a little excursion. Our destination was Nerja, a town with the most beautiful beaches on the Costa del Sol located 50 km from Malaga. We also visited the nearby stunning white village of Frigiliana, also known as the Spanish Santorini. It is considered one of the most beautiful towns in Spain. We will share more about these two places and other gems in Andalusia and Costa del Sol in a separate episode, so make sure to subscribe to our channel. In the evening we returned to Malaga and had a reservation at Restaurante Matisse, where we decided to celebrate our wedding anniversary. For Malaga it was one of the more elegant and expensive restaurants. We paid around 80 euros for two starters, two main courses, dessert and four drinks, but it was worth it. They also offered tasting menus at very reasonable prices. It's worth noting that between 4 and 7 pm there is siesta and during these hours most places are closed and only reopen in the evening. On the other hand, between 7 and 8 pm is the best time to hunt for available tables in popular restaurants. People in Spain eat rather late and restaurants usually fill up between 9 and 10 pm. After dinner we visited the Molina Ladio rooftop bar. Located on the 8th floor the views were slightly less impressive than from the Marriott Hotel, but they had delicious signature cocktails that we'll remember for a long time. In our opinion it's worth the visit. We started another day with a viewpoint offering the most beautiful cityscape, Mirador de Gibraltaro. It's a must visit in Malaga. When you think of Malaga, this view is likely to come to your mind. It's an iconic symbol of the city and it appears on every postcard. From here you can see Plaza de Toros de la Malagueta, the bullfighting arena, among other landmarks. Descending from the viewpoint toward the old town, it's also worth exploring Gibraltar Castle, another distinctive site in Malaga. You can admire a fantastic panorama of the city from here. Sundays are particularly recommended because from 2 pm the entrance is free. On other days you will pay 3 euros 50 for a ticket, but for 5.50 you can get a combined ticket for Castillo de Gibraltar and Alcazaba Fortress. Don't think Malaga lacks historical landmarks. In fact, there are many more than we initially thought. Another one is Teatro Romano de Malaga, the ruins of the Roman theater in Malaga. It was discovered by accident in 1951 and is a free attraction that you can explore on your own. Right next to the theater is the Spanish Moorish fortress Alcazaba. The fortress was built between 756 and 780. 
Inside you'll find exhibits of Phoenician, Roman and Arabic ceramics as well as numerous courtyards, gardens, fountains, patios, all with a somewhat Arabic atmosphere. In our opinion it's really worth a visit, especially on Sundays when the entrance is free from 2 pm. On other days you'll pay 3 euros 50 for a ticket. At the end of the day we visited another interesting restaurant, El Maison de Cervantes. They serve traditional tapas in a creative way as well as modern Mediterranean cuisine. We truly enjoyed the experience. We hope you enjoyed our vlog from Malaga and if so make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos from Spain and many other amazing destinations.